Hello everybody, welcome back to Scrappy Adam and welcome to day 16 of Follow Sketch February, the series from Sandy aka State Goddess over at Scrapping Reflections. Please don't forget to check out the description box down below where you will find the playlist of all the YouTube creatives playing along. It's a master playlist, so you can just head to the playlist, press play, and it'll play them all from us all. Or you can scroll through and pick out which one you want to watch. You can also visit Scrapping Reflections Facebook group and check out all the sketches there as well. Of course, there are sketches available in tons of other places. We've got 30 Days of Sketches coming up. You've got Scrapper Sketch, which is run by the oh-so-awesome Lisa Sikorsky, who happens to be my bestie. And there's loads of other places as well. So you are not sure of sketchy inspiration. This is today's sketch. For details of where the sketch came from, check out the Facebook group. But it looks like it's scrapbooking global. Here is the sketch. We've got three photos, a title and a big strip in the middle. I may or may not add a third, fourth photo. I am thinking not based on... The photos but we'll see i've cut the paper when i did the page cut so we've already done that and i'm going to attempt to just do a start to finish process layout with you so we've got rub-ons from 49 and market we've got the essential text blends in salsa mariner plum and the sky and navy we've got a package of embellishments that i've pulled out from my stash frames and some of the homemade embellishments that we made and flair and all sorts. We've got a cute little layered Mickey. We've got some punched circles in a textured basil and a photo play paper. And then we have these strips which I'm going to use to mat the layout. I thought it'd be quite fun to do that with you guys. I'm sure it's nothing new. It's not rocket science, so I'm sure you've all done it. But if you don't have a full 12 by 12, but you want to map the layout, then I am going to go through that. Then we have our photos. So currently I've got the photos in this configuration, but Donald looks like the odd one out. So I'm thinking we may get rid of Donald. That's where I was getting my red from. I don't know. We'll see. That's where I'm at at the moment. So I'm going to take these photos off for a moment. So we've got these little squares of pattern paper. We've got like a cartoon Disney style, Mickey balloons and the photo play one. And then we have this vellum with Mickey and lots of words, the balloons and the hearts on that one. And then these strips I have as you can see written on the background just to illustrate where I am placing the items the only thing I've done is just trimmed an inch off both sides and then I realized well now these are in the wrong place so we're gonna flip it over and use this side there's a mark on it of course there is it's fine so what we're going to do is we are going to put adhesive down one side and then simply line the paper up, taking the top and the bottom as our guide for how thick we want the border. So you can see we've got roughly the same on all sides. Then we're going to do the same on another side, like so. And again, we're just going to line it up. Now, I am just keeping them together there. You can chop them off and make them smaller. I am just letting them overlap. Then we're going to do the same on this side. Do, 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 do. So if you don't have a full 12 by 12, but you want to use it to mat a layout then don't despair just do this it's a great way of extending your stash of paper if that's what you're trying to do personally I need to use the blooming thing up 
but if you do want to use off your paper then it's a great way of extending that then we have ourselves a border yes you can see a little bit because the core of this Bella Boulevard paper is white it is not colored personally it doesn't bother me we're just gonna put it that way and you can't tell very different at all let's refocus that because we've been messing about and let's get cracking okay so I'm going to use a few of these 49 and market rub-ons. We are going to initially use the Salsa and the Mariner. Marina, Mariner, Mariner. Um, just because that's the blue and the red. And I'm just going to place them down and basically do that like that. So nothing, nothing special, nothing complicated at all. I do apologize for any rocking of the camera whilst I do this. There isn't much I can do whilst I'm applying the rub-ons. I will refocus the camera shortly. So feel free to fast forward on if it's doing your head in too much. So we're just gonna pop them down. So we've got these ones there. And we'll pop a few up here quite randomly there is no rhyme no reason to this and then finally we're going to put some up here like so so as i say quite randomly placed Then I'm going to come back in and just add a little bit, not much, but a little bit of the blue. And we're going to sort of layer that over the top of where we've placed the red. We'll place a bit of the cream as well. We're just trying to create a bit of variety, a bit of texture around our layout. There is a bit of mixed media in the sketch. Um, it just inspired me to get the rub-ons out. I am a huge rub-on fan since they've become ever so popular with <clears throat> 49 and Market. I know those of you that have scrapped for quite a while, which obviously I haven't, I know you did have a period where rub-ons had quite a bad rep for not rubbing on. Like That's probably a key component of rub-ons, to be fair. Um, but everybody that I've spoken to is a big fan of 49 and Market so if you are yet to try them I would suggest you give them a try because they are incredible things they usually have a pack in every collection where you get six sheets they also do 12 by 12 ribbons and then they have a whole range of the colour matched ones as well which are just incredible so that's us refocused, that's the rub-ons on, let's get some of this stuck down. So we are going to start with this very thin, thin photo play paper. And I'm just going to put a bit of adhesive on that. And that is actually going to come over our patterned paper at the top and the bottom. I'm then going to place a bit of adhesive on this side of that and we're going to place it on the back of this red paper which is the basil um, dotted twist, Swiss dotted, you know what I mean guys. And this photo play paper is actually 12 inch. So this one is going to come to the top and the bottom of here which is perfect. And then that's where I discover that the other one that I've already placed isn't straight. So let's redo that one. There we go. So that is our center focus. And then atop of all that, I'm going to add this Echo Park one, which is going to go just 
atop of her, like so. I am going to take the very top of this off, just because I don't like the way that's sitting, and then pop that back down, just get rid of that over there. So that is our middle centre, and I do have these punched out pieces. I don't know if you can see it on the sketch, but on the left side we do have some circles, and I do kind of want to use them. So I'm going to cut these in half. I'm going to use this paper as opposed to the red, just because actually let's see what the red is like because you're not actually gonna see the red I've just realized so after me saying that we might actually use some of the red as well let's see yeah okay I am gonna do that on the sketch, it's only on the left. I'm going to be a little bit controversial and add it to the right as well. And the reason for that is just because I want to, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. There is no rhyme or reason to it because there are no rules in... I don't know what I'm saying there. There are no rules in scrapbooking. So you can do what the heck you like. If it makes you happy then do it you can still see we've got the inspiration from the sketch so it's a-okay there's a quick drink break for us okay so that is our background layout it's looking a bit fourth of july at the minute with the added blue but i quite like it now let's look at our photos and layers. Our photos on the sketch are here, here and here with a title and embellishment cluster here. So I'm definitely going to use this one. And you are, some of these circles are going to be hidden and again, that's okay. Okay, so I'm going to potentially put that one there. That one, there, and then I think I'm going to swap these over and I'm going to cut this one down slightly. Now these are just photos of artwork from Disney. So there is how we're going to have our photos. I'm not going to scrap that one. That's going to have a, another layout. So I do have some papers that I want to use. So we've got this one, which is like a cartoony style one. This is going to go here. Probably about there nope just gonna cut off a bit of that <coughs> and pop that on here about there then we've got a bit of this balloon paper which is gonna go about here and that's probably going to be it, actually. Yes. Let me just trim a bit of that off. So just don't want it over stepping the... Uh... I was about to say curtains, and I don't know why. That's very random. I don't want it over stepping the photo, is what I meant to say. So we're going to put the photo about there. Try and make it a little bit straight, shall we? Just for giggles. Um, I am very rambling today. 
which is surprising because I have a wicked sore throat. And then that's going to go there, and then we've got our third photo going to the right, and it's not going to line up with this one. It's going to go about there, but I do want to add this felon, which is going to go about here-ish. And I want to add <coughs> this paper about here. I'm getting rid of this paper and this paper. Yes, they're going in the bin. And that's going to go about there. So that is our layout done in terms of paper, background, photos. Now let's see what embellishments I pulled in, because I have overdone it. Are you surprised? Now we do have this one, which is a rather large homemade embellishment cluster. I'm just going to trim off a bit of this, like so. I'm actually going to tear that top bit. It was just looking a little bit too tall. And then I am going to use it by placing this up here. Like so. Now that's a ready-made cluster where we've got a clip, some chipboard, ephemera, a flare and the tag. So I'm loving that. I did want to use this from Simple Stories, but I don't know whether it's going to... work real I quite like that there actually so let's add that there sort of tucked in here just gives another layer to our strip we have got some flare here which is just some <coughs> random some firework stripes and so on we've got a little bow from Mm. I want to say Cartabella, but it's adhesive backed, and I didn't think they did adhesive chipboard, so maybe it's simple stories. So I'm going to layer that on that photo. And then we've got lots of frames and tucky bits, tucky tucks. So I'm going to add that M at the top. Sort of. Tuck that one in. We're going to add that there. <coughs> Excuse me. This cold is uh, not for shifting. We're going to add this frame up here. I am a big fan of frames as embellishments. There are just so many possibilities with them. And you can cut them up, you can put your title in them, you can put your photos, there's so many opportunity. So we've split that one into two. Now, I don't know why I thought I needed this much stuff, to be perfectly honest. Well, I guess because it's Adam, and that's what Adam does. We are going to stick this Mickey on, and I am going to overlap it with the mini photo. I know. Quite risque, but I'm sure Minnie won't mind. So, I'm going to put some foam dots on the back. which you can't see, I do apologise. So we've got some foam dots on the back. So this is a layered die cut. So it's been cut on a creek cut in black and then all the colour pieces is cardstock stuck on and layered atop of the black. It's amazing what you can do on a creek cut now, isn't it? 
So that's going to go about there. So it's like Mickey is looking at Minnie. Cute. We've got a castle. Don't think we need that. <coughs> We've got another frame. Don't think we need that. I'm going to add one of this. One of this. <laughs> this red frame down here. And it's not something we need, no, but it just adds that little pop of colour. And then I will replicate that up here as well. Then we are going to add a couple of flare. So I'm going to add this red and green stripe. No, I'm not, because there's no green. This red dot and heart one. Whoops. I'm going to add that up here. And then the black stripe one I'm feeling like needs a place on our layout. Thinking top right. Maybe here. Like so. And then to finish us off, we've got this chipboard piece that says M is for magic. I am going to layer that with the frame there. I think, I'm just trying to see, I think that's it. So 22 minutes isn't bad. Let's add this as well, just because it's on my desk and it's better than popping it back in. Our box of embellishments really and now to finish us off I think I'm gonna add just a couple of splatters not many at all just down here here and I'm not covering my photo so I am trying to be very careful here And then here, and I am splattering on the embellishments up here as well. Now, the photos do have splashes on them because that's the artwork style. So if I have got some paint on it, and that's fine. I do love the new placement of my sprays, I have to say. And that is it, guys. That is day 16 of Follow a Sketch February. It's a little bit busier than the sketch, and I did intend on making this a minimal layout. That's not happened, but apart from that, I do love the result, and I hope you do too. As I said at the start, please don't forget to check out the playlist, which you will find linked in the description box. And I will be back tomorrow for day 17. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.